Good morning you guys, welcome back to YouTube. We're back home, we're in Bent Bulban. The mountain is up behind us, it's good to be back. Although it's kind of gone with the mist, it's only it's kind of half there. We've got the mountain, we've got the old Jeep back, and we have the old dog. Anyone who's followed the channel in the last four or five months wouldn't have seen this one before. She's the main girl, she's my sheep dog, my bitch Casey. And the operation would not run without her. And she loves football. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is I'm going down to my own farm in Glenif, putting out some buckets, just getting a look at the sheep too, since I haven't seen them since I got back. Righty oh, I load up these Crystal X buckets, put the dog in the back, and we'll get going and get farming. I had the Jeep on to warm her up there, but I've had to actually take it off. And the reason being is because I have to leave it in gear because the handbrake's not working. It's completely non-functional. A couple of few bits not working with it. I have to have to fix a few bits and get her through the test. She's she's flying and she's going well, but yeah, no handbrake. So until I get that sorted in the next couple of days, I better uh, just make sure I park her on the flat and leave it in gear at all times. There's the, there's the one that was out there. Well, shock's not gone yet, but... Oh. Usually put them over into rushes. It's generally what I do. Oh. Good exercise, that. No need for the gym when you're at it. Tell you that much. Oh. Lovely. That one is well through, well shook. Oh, Casey, come here, Casey! Casey, come. She's mad for work, but no need for it today. Just bringing her because of the walk. Casey, come here, Casey. And when they're lambing, like they're okay now because they're three, four weeks away from lambing, but definitely wouldn't bring her through the sheep when they are lambing because they'll only walk away on lambs. Casey, come here. Casey, come, come, good girl. Good to give her a bit of exercise. Since I've last been at home, the channel has gotten a good bit bigger. I'm from Sligo. We're a farming family. I'm the eldest of nine children with the Devanis. We have over, probably a bit over a thousand sheep in total. Um, nearly all Mayo Blackface. I'm putting out Crystal X buckets. Crystal X sponsored the channel. We farm together, we help each other out, but I have a smaller flock of Mayo Blackface sheep. They're organic, so I'm giving them the organic Crystal X buckets, which are these. And then the rest of the sheep get the Crystal X high energy, the red buckets. That's predominantly, we use a lot of them. We go through a lot of them in the winter. We find them great because we can get away without feet nuts. We can just get away with heather and grass, whatever grass is available, heather and Crystal X and fresh air after that and spring water. So it's a combination of smaller, easy fed sheep and then Crystal X, and we can get by without feeding, which is huge, I think, particularly because we have a lot of rented land and it's in a number of different places. You have to do a good bit of driving to get to all of it. So to be feeding every day for two months before lambing would just be ridiculous. Like We don't even hardly check them every day when they're lambing. Try to have not too big a rams and have them lamb themselves, especially the ones that are on the mountain. Try and have them lambing themselves um, as close to nature as possible, kind of more like an Australian system, an outdoor lambing system where the sheep ideally, the most of them would just do their own thing, they'll lamb themselves, you'll see them from far off, good on you, give them the thumbs up and let them at it until they're all lambed and then you bring them in for tailing. So that's the kind of system we run. We used a lump of Crystal X before they ever came sponsoring the channel 
and it's great to have them on board now sponsoring the channel because it's a product that we use anyways regardless up 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 here up 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 okay Two in this top part, I'd say. There's one. There's two. Your bucket down here, and there's a couple of ones eating out of it. Things will be wet down here too. I'll try not to slip behind. Oh, cut to the rushes here. to be hanging around for a bit there's a wee bit of a bit of green growth on it look at that gotta love it and then you take a lick out of it myself please come here yeah there is a good bit left in this one this is my first time down since i got back so i wasn't actually sure how long since they got their last buckets and whether or not they'd run out but it's no harm no harm to bring more down to them keep it to them keep it keep buckets under them because yeah, just, if they get as much as they can get, or as much as they can eat, then, then you've done your best for them. Casey, come here, Casey! While Casey <laughs> drives all the sheep away, chases them away, Casey. It's not why I brought you, I brought you for a bit of exercise. Oh, lovely. And we have an empty one. It's another empty one. And see guys, it's that good of a product that, even when it runs out, it doubles up as a water trough. Oh, no, I'm only joking, there's no need for a water trough, there's bloody two big rivers run through this land. And it's a bog, so no need put more water in here, it's like throwing apples into an orchard. A bit of a longer draw with this one so i think i'll chat to you when i get back righty also it's a couple hours later i'm back here at home had lunch did a little bit of work at home and got the call from dad that he wants sheep moved now we sort of knew we were going doing this job this evening he's not just ready yet but i'll get out to where we're going and get started ahead of him put on the trail now and we'll get going and get out there As well as not having a handbrake, there's no reversing camera in this thing, so I'm kind of just doing it by eye. I don't think it's done too bad. I think when you don't have a reversing camera, you don't have anyone backing in, it's just kind of waiting until you hear the bang. That's sort of the method of doing it. there now but I stopped in briefly into a neighbour it a sheep that was lambing I'm not sure whether she ha he handled her first or not a young yo but not really open right not big lambs they weren't really open right but tough pull but got them both out one out and then the other out and they come out alive heart beating but say they're a bit before the time it is a wee bit early he has two sheep lambed but it's probably just a wee bit early because Heart beating that neither of them would breathe. Neither of them would start and get going. And I threw water into the rear, I hung them upside down, I slapped them, I done this and that, one and then the other. And neither of them, they're both dead. Oh man, like we haven't even started lambing yet. That's the kind of shite that you put up with when it's not going well. She's a young yo and I would loads of milk and she is near a lamb. She's standing over two dead lambs in the shed there and she's Oh she's licking them to no avail but that's the joys of it. That's the joys of it. 
So we're here where the sheep are. That's a good start. See now, I have Casey who is good on the road, but hmm. I could put her out of the garden and send her down the road in case he'll beat her on the road, but it's a busy enough one too. Let's see how we get on. Well that was handy enough. She literally just came out, ran across the road and in here. She knew exactly where she was going. But yeah, that is uh, definitely an easy path to get out. First thing I'll be getting them in, like Dad is coming with a trailer, but I think it'd be a bit away, so I should make an attempt to put these in. Put myself in Casey. This won't be the simplest, but we'll work it, I'd say. Chris likes extra high energy. That's what's being used on these non-organic conventional sheep. Although they're not too far away. Hill sheep, not getting fed nuts. They're not too far away from organic. They're pretty damn close. Case, come on. Case, come here, come here, come here, come here. Right here, right here. Walk on, walk on. Come on, Case, come on, walk on. Our twins, they had a dot on them. Now we're just getting the odd tin one or a late lammer. This we want here. A young sheep. Let's see. So subscribing the last six months, you probably wouldn't have met him. But this is Ed. Big sheep, man. Hang on up and come back pretty fast. These gates out again. He won't be. He won't be long away. Where that first bunch is going, so it's not too far away from here. So he should be back soon enough. Myself and Casey will probably work getting these into the pin by ourselves. We'll have them waiting for him. Being in Australia was that no matter what farm we went to, didn't matter if it was run down, didn't matter like there was great setups, there was midland setups. But they all had a race. Every one of them had a race. That's just the thing over there. I know it's kind of bigger numbers than 
Like they'd probably laugh at you like with a bunch of a thousand or two thousand or you're gonna go pulling the lambs off these or whatever but you know like races are the job like especially when you get sheep used to them. like that crack of pulling sheep has the saying I heard I can't remember where I heard the saying out of it a cow will kill you in an instant but sheep take years to kill you I thought it was a great one like but literally what that means is that just being at sheep will slowly wear you down over time you know, and you can see Dad like he's in his fifties, and like you can tell that he's been actually shearing too. Shearing is not easy; it's tough on the body. But it's not just shearing either; it's horsing and pulling at sheep. Sheep's going to get away, and you go and grab her and try and pull her then, and put her through a gate, like pulling lambs off yours. That kind of pulling and pulling is severe on your back, severe on your hips and joints. I don't want to do that crack. <laughs> I don't want to end up busted like it looks at cheap any you're probably going to be shocked by the time you're older but i'd say if you've got a portable race just something like a wrapper or something along those lines it'll probably make a big difference but then a job like that one is only 50 sheep total bit of rented ground there's only actually about 20 sheep to put off there would you bother setting up the race you probably wouldn't but then there's plenty of uh there's plenty of times where we did a couple of pulling where you'd be pulling half the day and a bigger setup and that's where the race would be king. Casey, come here, Casey. Come here, come here. Shh, wait. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come by. Come on, walk on, walk on. Lay down, lay down. Lay down. Oh, there's always one. Come on. Casey, come here, come here. Don't let them out. Shh, good girl, come on. Shh, walk on, walk on. Shh, Kate, come here. Shh. They're pairs, so we don't want to abuse them at the same time. Shh. Gotta get them in too. Shh. Kate, you're here. Shh. Lie down, lie down. Shh. Wait. Oh, fuck you. Lie down, lie down, lie down. Lie down, good girl. Well done. Battery went dead in the GoPro there, but Dad landed and we loaded up the rest of that mob. He's on the way over to drop them off. I'm gonna get these gates and load them up, but we're not done yet though. We do have to drop them off, but also pick up another bunch that are over at this place. So I'll see you over there. So we're here. Dad has gone up to get the lamps. Don't know, I don't even know how many is in it. This is the bottom deck's open, I presume there mustn't be much. I'm walking up this lane, but I'm probably going to meet lambs coming back down. In which case, I'll have to run back the other way. We have a field rented on this side, and Dad was saying that we used to rent this here. I was in a baby seat. One or two. <laughs> but I don't remember that. We weren't old enough to drive any of us. Just let it go on and first gear itself. You can work sheep quietly too. Yeah. Well, I guess. It's often the handy way. One like I seen in Australia didn't really make much noise that cheap, unless it was a huge bunch like. Uh, It'd be something yeah. I something I'd be guilty of shouting and hushing and I'm trying to do that more and more in the last couple of years. Just just work quietly. Not spook them as much. Yeah. They're loading up. Last job is to get this crystal like spoker. And just drop it with these sheep. These are the Second bunch that I was counting out that Dad brought. Not that they've a massive white to get there, but it's a wee bit of fresh picking in there. Oh, it's dark now. Could we be back doing a bit of farming in Ireland again?
Looking forward to Lamb and it's right around the corner. Plenty more vlogs coming too. Thanks for watching, guys. See you for the next one.